CompTIA A plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.2 Compare and Contrast Common Networking Hardware. Network Firewall. Let's imagine our computer network is a fortress. Just like a fortress has protective barriers and guards, a computer network needs a way to safeguard against unwanted intrusions and threats. This is where network firewalls come into play. A network firewall is a network security device that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic. So, how does a network firewall work? Well, it performs a data packet inspection for each packet that tries to pass through it, inspecting its source address, destination address, and content. It compares this information against a set of predefined security rules and policies. When a data packet arrives at the firewall, it undergoes a thorough evaluation against these security rules. If the data packet aligns with the allowed parameters set in the security rules, the firewall permits it to pass through. This enables legitimate data to flow uninterrupted towards its intended destination, maintaining the network's operational efficiency and communication needs. Conversely, if a data packet is found to be in violation of any of the established security rules, the firewall blocks the offending packet from entering or exiting the network. By preventing these harmful data packets from penetrating or leaving the network, the firewall plays an integral role in maintaining the overall security and integrity of the network infrastructure. The security rules and policies used by network firewalls are often implemented using a mechanism known as an Access Control List, or ACL. An ACL defines the specific criteria that determines whether network traffic will be allowed or denied by the firewall. Access control lists are essentially a set of rules that dictate what types of network traffic are permitted and what types should be blocked. As a data packet is received by a network firewall, the network firewall will compare the data packet against the security rules listed in its access control list. If the data packet does not match any of the allow rules in the access control list, the data packet will be denied then the next packet can be processed. The network firewall will again compare the data packet against the security rules listed in its access control list. If the data packet matches an allow rule in the access control list, the data packet will be permitted and forwarded on. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.